Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today with me as a pair of members of Concert Chorale here, Jacob Ruka and Madeline Houston, here to talk about Concert Chorale and a performance coming up here in a little bit. Thank you both for joining us here today. Thank you. Thank you. And before we get started with the show itself, give us a little bit of background on Concert Chorale because there are a number of singing groups here on campus. So uh, kind of help us identify what the differences between this and some of the other ones that we see here on campus. Uh, well, Concert Chorale is the auditioned ensemble on campus, singing ensemble. We have a few others, some that are not auditioned, that you can just join uh, for free, for fun. And, um, and this one is, is more like a chamber ensemble for chamber choral works. And so uh, the group, by what size group are we talking here? How many people are in it? Uh, it's uh, right now, it's I think 34, 35. It usually bounces 30 to 40 people. So still a pretty good uh, group and ensemble there to, to perform some music. And, and that's what you're here to talk about is your next performance. And so uh, talk a little bit about the concert that is coming up. Give us the background. What is, what's going on with the concert? Um, this concert coming up is about renewal. That's the theme of the concert. There's a lot of music that speaks of new life being given. Um, it's very fitting for springtime coming up. It's also fitting the concert is being held on Palm Sunday. So it's very nice to have that right before Easter, right before one of the biggest times of renewal in a lot of people's lives. And of course, uh, with that, uh, the type of music that they might hear, and the, you know, usually you hear, you know, is it is it classical, is it modern? Because uh, it could be anything. And I know uh, you're the, the director, uh, she likes to pick a lot of variety in the music that, that you perform. But what kind of music can folks expect out of this, uh, you know, genre-wise here in, in this show? Um, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you put it perfectly. There's a good variety of music. We have some contemporary stuff, some modern sounding um, choral literature, and we do have some stuff that's, you know, a good century or two older um, in various styles. And I think that's just a, a fitting assortment uh, to go into this this concert. And probably no songs that would just jump out and as someone would go, oh, I know that song, right? <laughs> so, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but still a good entertaining evening of music, uh, an opportunity to, to hear this, especially the timing, as you said, renewal, Easter, all of the themes kind of play together. And that also plays into the location, uh, because I know one of the things is that uh, you like to perform this in churches. Mm -hmm. And it's, it seems an appropriate place to be able to perform, because the venue itself helps contribute to the show, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Definitely. Absolutely. And so when, like, let's talk a little bit about uh, with you, uh, Madeline, there's, you've got two different tasks involved <laughs> in this show. Uh, in addition to singing, you're actually on the other side, you're conducting. I am. So uh, talk, a, talk a little bit about the, the kind of the, the difference uh, in having to deal with both, being on both sides of the performance there. Um, wow, it's really interesting. Uh, I actually have the wonderful opportunity to collaborate with Dr. Phillips. He's like a clarinet professor on campus. Um, and that honestly takes a lot of stress off the shoulders as opposed to doing it all by myself. But compared to being a singer, being the conductor, you pull a lot of your own weight. And it's a really wonderful collaboration effort. Getting to lead and give direction through music is, is a wonderful experience to have as an undergraduate student. Now, are, now have you conducted before? Um, no, not in a setting like this. <laughs> so is, is there any nerves uh, building up in the fact that you're going to be conducting your, your first big show like this? Yeah, there are definitely some nerves there. Um, every rehearsal, I get really nervous right beforehand, but they're my friends, the, they're my colleagues and my peers, and we all want the same outcome, and I think that's a common goal to be driven towards. And does being a singer and being on the other side help prepare you for being in front of them and knowing what the students are dealing with on the other side? <laughs> Absolutely. You learn how to be clear. You learn what are clear gestures and what are not very quickly. You might think, <laughs> oh, this will totally work, and then it does not work. And you have to think about things from the th singer's perspective and go, well, as the singer, would I have understood what was going on? And it's, it's a really interesting balance. And did you have a, have a choice in the song you were conducting, or was it kind of put on you? 
Um, I had a choice. Dr. Orlovsky and I looked through the repertoire um, that she was picking for the concert, and we both kind of leaned towards this one particular song together, and she told me that she thought it would be very fitting for me, and I agreed, so I got to select it. There you go. So at least you had a say in it. You, you, <laughs> you, you got a little bit more familiar with the piece and then are sharing it with your fellow singers in the chorale. So tell me a little bit about now, before we go, you mentioned it earlier, but if anyone is interested in attending the show, when, where, date, all that information. Um, the concert is Sunday, April the 10th at 3 p.m. at Park Memorial Church. Um, it is free admission. Masks are encouraged and will be available at the door for anyone who would like one. The seating is very limited, so we ask that people please show early. Um, and if you do show up late, please be courteous. Entry. Courteous and quiet and mm -hmm. come in and listen to a good show by Concert Corral. I want to thank both of you for joining here today and uh, good luck with the concert. Thank you so much. Thank you thank very you. much. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.